Hey besties, so what I'm doing today is actually just a Hershey wrapper. I'm doing this in Microsoft Publisher because I had previously done a Hershey wrapper in Cricut. However, it was uh, for the king size Hershey wrappers. So I wanted to do this one and in a different software. So and then um, give you basically all the measurements for the Hershey wrapper, the standard size Hershey wrapper. Now I went with this theme because my godson is turning 16 in November and his mom wants to do a Jordan theme uh, birthday party for him. So basically, I'm not even sure she's going to go with this colorways, but I thought this was like a really nice um, color profile. So that's why I decided to go with this. So the design may change completely um, come his party, but this was just a nice break from the superheroes, unicorns, mermaids, ninja turtles, power rangers that I deal with with my children on a regular basis. So I'm going to start off this template with a square and I'm going to make it 5 inches by 5 inches. Okay, so then I will go ahead and add my elephant print. That is going to be the front of my Hershey wrapper and that is 1.75 inches by 5 inches. And the same with this um, basketball right here. The next thing I'm going to do is do a shape fill on the box and I'm going to use this blue color. I'm going to send it to the back. Okay, and that is basically the theme. So then I will go ahead and add his name across um, the midsection of the design space. So I will insert word art. I'm going to use this first one and I'm just going to type out his name in caps. Okay, and then click OK. I'm going to take and pull this all the way across the front and it'll look like that and then I will do a shape fill of black this file I actually got from Google pretty much all of this I got from Google I don't think there's anything on here that I paid for um, but I just went to Google I got a picture so this is what it looks like and then I just went to recolor and then set transparent and clicked on the background and then that's how I got the Air Jordan. So I'm going to take that and insert it here between his name and I'm going to bring it forward. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. Another thing is I'm going to insert a word art, use the same word art and then put a 16. I'm going to add it in over the shoe, do a shape fill, no fill so the background could shine through. I'm going to click control and select both items and then group it together. And that is going to go on this portion of my wrapper. I'm also going to do my barcode on this portion of the wrapper, but these need to be flipped around because it will basically fold over the wrapper. So the same with that. Okay, and then if you wanted to, you can go to format, shape outline, picture border, orange. I will go ahead and get this printed and assembled and we will see how it came out. So go to print and what I'm going to use for my setting is premium presentation paper matte pa uh, paper type and then I'm going to use a high quality print and okay. So this is how the image came out. It looks very nice and good quality. Um, this is copy paper. I think I said that um, in the video. This is how the cheaper ink comes out on glossy paper which looks pretty horrible. You can't even see really the elephant print. And I'm okay that I purchased the cheaper ink because I had like so many prints to do that did not require like high quality ink. Like a bunch of these 
fans for my daughter's school, which they look really nice. Um, but they didn't need my $70 ink. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just match this up with um, the wrapper that's going to go on it. And I want to fold this part over first because that is the part that is going to be covered. But you can, like I said, you can do the flap like this if you wanted to. I'm not going to. But if you wanted to. All you would have to do is just match it up. You could just run your tape runner across there and then fold it over like that. Oh, what the hell? May as well just do it. I was halfway there anyway. Okay, so I'm going to run that across and then I will match it up. So just like this. Okay, and then fold it over like that. So you have the authentic look of a Hershey wrapper. And then if you wanna make that flap stay down, you can. If not, just put another design there. Okay, so there we go with the finished product. And this is the back. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.